10 American words that completely confuse Brits. Yeah, I'm going to really enjoy checking out what words you guys are saying in America that's going to absolutely confuse me. So looking forward to getting into this one. Before we do, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. And I am posting extra content on my Patreon page. Link is in the description. And yeah, let's jump in this and check out these words. There are some American words that Brits just do not understand. It's like a different language. Okay. So today, we're going to look at 10 of the most confusing American words. Right, let's see. The most confusing, by the way. Real British We're gonna English. We're going to count down from 10 to number one. The most confusing word. Okay. So let's kick off with number 10. Number 10, realtor. Realtor. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Guys. No, nah, that makes sense. Like, realtor. When you think about it, real estate. Maybe you should correct me in the comments below. They both make sense, realtor. I think. Now, in British English, we would say estate agent. Right. It's somebody that sells houses. Yeah, yeah. Now, I get it. I get the connection because realtor works in real estate. Real estate I is property I would say that's that confusing, America. though. So someone that's selling houses works in real estate. Right. I get it. So realtor is the person and real estate is the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. So realtor in British English estate agent yo maybe some brits that's confusing bro but i ain't one of them realtor that makes sense to me i actually i actually kind of like that word i ain't gonna lie like if i was gonna work as a realtor i would like to be a realtor than an estate agent you know what i'm saying i feel like realtor sounds better okay let's get on to number nine well, fair station enough, fair. wagon i quite like the sound of this word station wagon it sounds exciting to me <laughs> yo that literally sounds like a station for horse and wagons bro <laughs> Obviously, it's to do with transport, but car. I have some crazy ideas about what a station wagon is. <laughs> then I googled it. I was a little bit disappointed. A station wagon in British English is an estate car. Right. An estate. So it's a long... No, nah, that should be a station for horse and wagons, bro. Car. It's extended. The boot, or trunk in American English, is extended to... So it has more space right. for bags and bikes and whatever you want to put in there. The long cars. So, station wagon in American English, a state car in British English. I Number call eight, sneakers. 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 Now, I'm a bit more comfortable with this word now. I've heard... Yo, right, listen. I love the word sneakers. I would rather use... I, I never use the word trainers either, really. I kind of just say what shoe it is on my foot. I just say shoes. Um, but yeah... I prefer saying sneakers. No one really says it in the UK, but I prefer saying it over trainers. Not that I do say it. I don't say it because, like, we just don't say it. But, like, if you're going to give me the option of the two, I'm definitely choosing sneakers. I like that word. I've heard it many more times. I like but that word. when I first heard it, I thought it was a chocolate bar. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I want a sneakers. Absolutely, yeah. That sounds delicious. <laughs> it's not a chocolate bar. It's a pair of trainers. Right. In British English, trainers. So in American English, sneakers, British English, trainers. Yeah, okay. So sports shoes. Shoes that you might wear for running or to the gym. Training, whatever it might be. but Number seven, you don't trade in. Cilantro. What or is in that? American English, cilantro. Cilantro. Yeah, that, that's my pronunciation. Oh, wait, I've seen this in another video, bro. Cilantro and coriander. That's like a, um, it's a veg, right? Or, or type of leaf or something? Apologies. So, cilantro I in what British English is, anyway. is coriander. It's the herb that we use in cooking. So American English, cilantro. Bro, I ain't ever seen or heard of coriander before. Although I did, but I, I'm not really a cook. I don't really do much cooking, so I have no clue. British English, coriander. Okay, I still enough. kind of get that one confused. I have to kind of think cilantro. Okay, all right. Yeah, Sounds yeah, like yeah, a yeah. bang. Okay. Yeah, it's coriander. I remember. Sticking with the food theme. Oh, number eggplant. Six, eggplant. Eggplant. Now Yo, but the thing is, right? I don't know anyone that says aubergine in the UK. Like, I don't know if it's because I don't cook and I don't go to the shop to buy them. But, like, I've always known of it as an eggplant from, like, the emoji. Eggplant, right? The purple emoji that everyone uses. So, to me, I, I say eggplant. Now, I don't say again, aubergine. I've heard this one enough times now that I do finally understand that eggplant is aubergine right. in British English. But to begin with, I had no idea. And I was a little bit disappointed because I love huh? eggs. And I thought maybe there might be a plant that made eggs. 
What do you mean? You thought it was a plant that made <laughs> What? It's not true. Anyway, eggplant in American English, <laughs> aubergine in British English. Right, cool. Number five. I, this is one oh, I did not know indicators. until I was researching this video. I had no idea. Right. Blinker. Yo, yeah, blinkers is confusing. Because I know what blinkers is because of like watching American content and stuff. But if I did know what it was, I'd think like blinkers would be like the windscreen wipers or something, right? Do you know what I mean? But then again, the indicator is kind of like blinking. I don't know. I say the in I say this um, windscreen wiper is more of a blinking, but yeah, uh, interesting. Blinker. A blinker in British English is an indicator. indicator. So it's that flashing light that you have on your car, right side and left side, to oh, show that you're going that, to either turn yeah. right or turn left. Sure. So in British English, we would say an indicator because you are indicating where you want to go you are showing where you want to go right in american english a blinker we're blink so where we want to go is it i don't know your right blinker and your left blinker <laughs> guys tell me in the comments below I yo it does make sense though because like the front of the car the eye that yeah, i even said it now the lies they kind of like eyes bro tell me how to use this word because i've never heard it before so you, do you turn on your blinkers don't know <laughs> i don't know but anyway in british english Indicator. Okay. All right, number four, and I have never oh, heard this phrase and before. Yeah, I never heard of this. Shoots and ladders. What's shoots and ladders? Snakes and shoots. ladders. Wait, wait, wait. But is it like you know your shoots and ladders? Because I've seen it in a video. That's like you guys don't have snakes on your boards, right? Is it like a shoot, like a like a slide, like slide and ladders? Again, I have got to a different game one. version. Okay, Shoots and Ladders is a famous game that in British English we would say snakes and ladders. Right. You know, it's that board game where you slide down you the go snake. Up the ladders. Yeah, in America, do you slide down the like the shoot is like a slide, right? So you you slide down the shoot, not a snake. And then you go down the snakes. But in American English, you go up the ladders, but down the shoots. Right. Okay. I kind of get it because like a, a rubbish shoot is like a tube that you right. throw rubbish down and. It kind of goes down into the basement or wherever the... Well, it makes sense, bro, because if you don't have snakes on your board, you're not going to say snakes. So. The bin might be. So I guess... I wonder why I they changed the game, though. Shoot. That makes sense, kind of going down. It's okay. If, in fact, do you know what? It makes more sense than the snake. But I prefer the snake. Anyway. Wait, no. It don't, though. Because we have snakes on our board. We can't call snakes... Oh, he means, like, swapping the snake out for shoots. Oh, Okay. No, 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 but when you're a kid, it's fun sliding down the snake. Shoots and ladders in I like American the snakes. English, snakes and ladders in British English. All right, number three. I didn't know this word oh, until yeah, about force, uh... a month ago. And even now, I don't know how to spell it. I, I was like in Google, I was typing all the different <laughs> variations I could. Finally, I found the correct spelling. Yeah, you know earlier how I said like I prefer some of your guys' words? I don't think I would ever like, even if I moved to America, I will just still say tap. It's easier, like turn on the tap. The four, you know what? With um, when it comes to American English and British English, our Eng like British English is not is almost like is normally known as like more posh, right? Sounding more posh. Force it sounds posh. You know what I'm saying, bro? Americans should be saying tap, and we should be saying force it. <laughs> the pronunciation I, we got I'm it backwards sure, there. Force it, force it, or fast it, fast it. Fast it. Fast it? It's definitely not that. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. But like, I swear when I watch like American shows and stuff, I don't think I've ever heard them say turn on the faucet. But I'm pretty sure I've heard them say turn on the tap. Do you guys say tap as well or no? Am I tripping? <laughs> turn off the faucet. Yeah, it's not that. I know. Okay. <laughs> so a faucet, I'm going to say faucet because that's how I say it, is a tap. Yeah. A tap. So in British English, we say tap. In American English, they say faucet. Yeah, bro, that, that's what I would not adapt. <laughs> Sorry. I'll faucet. stick with tap on that one. I mean, totally different word. Never, I've never right. ever had to use that word. I've never seen it written. I've barely ever heard anyone say it. Do yeah, you say it. I don't know. You guys tell me. But yeah. If well, they must say it if it's on this, right? What else would Americans say for tap? If you're ever in America and you want to use the tap, you can say, excuse me, where is the faucet? If 
faucet. Number nah, I'm two, sticking we're to getting top. close. We're counting down to number one. Sophomore. Number two, sophomore. Sophomore. I had no idea what this word meant until I. You know what? I fully agree with him, bro. I've seen other videos now and I've learned what it is. Like you got freshman, which is a first year, sophomore, which is a uh, the second year. Wait, what is the third? Oh, I forgot what the third is. Freshman, sophomore. Oh, I forgot. I heard it used about a basketball player. So sophomore, I think, is someone in their second, second year, year sophomore of college, or their second year of high school. Right. I think is a bit confusing, no, no, especially no. when you're not from I'm America. Hang on, I'm gonna double check this. Yes, okay, I was right. It is so someone in their second year of college or right. high school. British English, we don't have a word for that. I don't know. I don't no, know we just keep things simple over here. First, second, third, fourth, boom. That is, Sec you're in your second year. That's what we'd say. In certainly in university, you'd say I'm in my second year or I'm yeah. a second year student, maybe. But we don't really have a word for that. Uh, obviously. I have taught the word freshman before. Right, freshman first is year. the first year of college or high school in America. In British English, it's a fresher, a fresher. So first oh, okay. year of university, oh, but we do say you first year. A fresher. All right, are you ready for number one? Yeah, that kind of this one is crazy. Right, 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 right. This one is crazy. I bet it better be, bro. Let's see, because a lot of these right now. Is I don't think they're that crazily confusing. You know what I'm saying? Number one, the most confusing American word, bangs. <laughs> what? What are bangs? What? What on earth? Is yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bangs to us, like if someone said, like it depends, like the context. Bangs could be sexual. Like, do you want to bang? Bangs could be like, did you hear that bang? Like that's loud. I don't know why else we'd use it for actually, but yeah. Is our bangs? I it's had to friend. find out. I had to research. Yeah, it. I didn't I had know to this. Google it, and I found out what bangs are. In British English, we would say a fringe. A fringe. It's when you have hair right down here like this. I'm so confused about how. Yeah, can you guys explain in the comments actually where bangs came from? Because fringe. Wait, I swear. I swear I've seen somewhere that, like, in America, don't you say you're fringe for, like, a piece of clothing where it looks like a fringe? So, like, w w where did bangs come well, you about? You use it because in British English, we would say uh, a fringe. So, right. uh, she has a fringe. Yep. But in American English, there's no ah. There's no article. So, she has bangs. So, oh, there's no article, she has a, but it has okay. an S. But it's not countable. It's uncountable. Oh, so confusing. <laughs> so, uh, I love your bangs means I love your fringe. Yo, yeah, that would trip out people from the UK if you're like, I love your bangs. <laughs> I'd be like, what? you love what? <laughs> okay, all right. So if you I went to be the bagging? hairdresser, I would say in British English, can I get a fringe, please? Can I get a fringe? Right. But in American English, what would you say? Can I get bangs? Yeah, I they guess, would. Right? Can I, can I have bangs? I don't know. So confused. <laughs> When I first heard that, I was like, that's crazy. Because bang, like, to bang a drum, to, you know, right. bang a drum, you make a noise. Or I heard a bang, it's like a loud God. sound. But Say what bangs, else is a bang? It's a type of hairstyle. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so you can see why these 10 words. Yeah, that was interesting though. I have seen those words pop up before. What we can do on this video, if you guys comment down below words that you guys say that you think is American only, it'll be really cool for me to check it out and guess what they mean. You guys can say the meaning and stuff. Really interesting, really good video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.